Hello, this is Tex Andrews with the Light Zone Project. And in this video, I'm going to go over basic tool anatomy in Light Zone. For this video, I've selected only a portion of our editor module screen so that we can focus better on the tools as I show them to you. Here, where my mouse cursor is traveling, is the toolbar. And Already you can see, as I mouse over these tools, that when you mouse over them, each one has a little box that comes up and tells you what the tool is. Let's bring them out in turn. Here's our Zone Mapper tool, the Relight tool, Sharpening tool, Gaussian Blur, Hue Saturation, color balance, white balance, black and white, noise reduction, clone, spot, and red eye tool. I want to point out a couple of things about the red eye tool and the raw adjustments tool. Because this is a raw image, the first things that happen when the editor module opens are that the raw adjustments tool <coughs> and the raw tone curve tool are deployed. Note that in the red eyes tool and the raw adjustment tool, they're very simple. If I pull out one of the other tools and deploy that, you'll note that the red eye tool and the raw adjustments tool lack a couple of things that the other tools have. We'll be talking about that in just a moment. Let's now take a look at the Hue Saturation tool just as an example of general tool anatomy. When a tool is active, it's surrounded by orange. As you can see, if I click between tools, they go from orange to gray and back again. The first little triangle tool collapses or expands the tool. This is the tool icon. Here is the tool name. If you double click on the tool name, you can edit this tool name. I will make this hue saturation number one. When you create your own style templates, this is where you can change the name of a particular tool that you have brought out for your style template. If you look at the individual styles in the style menu, you'll note that they've used the regular tools up here that are found in the toolbar and renamed them. This question mark button right here brings you to the help files section for this particular tool. This check mark box disables the tool when unchecked, when checked enables the tool. And this box here removes the tool from the tool stack. I'm going to bring it back now. You'll note that in this particular case, we now have hue saturation three. That's because as I played with this, this will be the third time I've brought it out. I am going to change that. It's now back to hue saturation one. This tool, this particular tool has multiple sliders. The different tools have different numbers of sliders. In the case of the Zone Mapper, it's a completely different tool without sliders at all. And we'll talk about that tool individually in the future, in a future video. Then you'll note down here that there are two tab settings, Color Selection and Tool Settings tab. And I will talk about them in a subsequent video, part two of this video. Thank you for listening and watch part two.